What's up, Spar Homers? My name is Aaron, and in this video, I want to show you guys the ASC Trample Tech Blue. Now, it's kind of a new product, and this is just a test sample that they sent me to check out. But I want to show you some of its features. One of the coolest being that it works with Home Assistant. Now, this Trample Tech mat comes with three or four, I guess you'd say, basic components. You have the mat itself, which is a pressure sensitive mat, and I'll show you a little bit more about it in a second. It comes with this Bluetooth outlet, and actually what happens is the mat pairs with this, which is kind of interesting. Then it comes with the USB-C power cable and the power brick. This thing does need to be plugged in while it's being used. If we take a look at the mat, you can see that it's got a, a flexible nature, and when it came, it was all rolled up, but it flattened out pretty well, very nicely. And you can see that it's got a, a, a rugged, um, lined texture that's really good for you know, grip and for wiping your feet off on the mat. And then on the other side, you can see it's got like a, a rubber, um, rubberized, and that's so it won't slide around on the floor, it'll stick. So you can see if I put this down on the workbench and try to move it, it doesn't want to slide. It stays there pretty nicely. Now, what I mentioned before was that this is powered by USB-C and you can see there's a little opening on the side where um, uh, the USB-C port is and there's a controller inside there. Now, it's very durable that that controller is covered by this plastic piece, so you can't really crush it and they really want you to you know, abuse this thing. I'm not sure if this is what it's going to look like in the final stages because I don't have a final product as far as I know, but this is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and we'll see how we can use it with an automation or two in Home Assistant. So for this test, I'm actually gonna take this power adapter and this outlet, and I'm gonna plug them into my bench top power strip here, and that's what I'll be using to test these out. While we're plugging in, they do give a really nice long cable, and that means that you can use this um, you know, quite a distance away, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and plug this one in. And then we'll plug in the mat just like that. See it blinking blue here? Now it's stopped blinking and turned solid. So I think they're paired. So how this works in Bluetooth mode is that this mat is paired with that smart plug. If I press down on the mat, it toggles the power state of the outlet. If I press it again, it toggles again. I'm gonna do it again, but put the microphone close by so you can hear it. So there you go, not sure if you heard that, but that's how it works, it's really nice. So that's pretty cool, and you can use that to like toggle a light, let's say. Right now the Trample Tech Blue is in what's called toggle mode, where when I press once, it toggles that switch. If I press again, it untoggles it. If I wanna change it to where it only turns a switch on while I'm pressing, and when I release, it stops, I have to actually activate this thing six times within six seconds, which is not easy to do. But when you do that, it'll switch modes. So I'm gonna try that now. Okay, so after a bunch of pressing, I got this thing to switch modes, which I prefer, which is pressing it. And when I let go, it knows I let go. Um, I can always try changing that back, but now I wanna try setting this thing up in Home Assistant. All right, so now we've moved over to my PC because I wanna add this thing to Home Assistant. All we're gonna do is put ESP Home onto this controller by plugging it into our PC and following some instructions that they've created for us. We just go through the setup process here, pretty much just walking through step-by-step step how to configure ESP Home, install it on the controller while it's plugged into our PC, and then modifying the configuration YAML for the ESP Home so that this thing works the way we want. They have it very well documented and it reminds me similar to how it used to be to set up the Everything Presence 1 when it first rolled out. Anyway, once you've got it all set up in ESP Home, and if you don't know how to install ESP Home, find a video out there. There's plenty of videos talking about how to do it. But once you have it installed in ESP Home, now you can see it'll be automatically discovered in Home Assist. I had an issue here because I didn't copy all the code I was supposed to in the earlier steps as the instructions tell me I was supposed to. But once I did that, it showed up in Home Assistant and all of the functions were there. And I wanna walk you through some of the functions. Okay, so in Home Assistant, we have a bunch of different entities and I wanna walk you through them and how it works. And then we can try a little automation. The first entity we have is the calibration entity. And that's a switch that you turn on to calibrate the mat 
to a specific pressure, which I'll explain in a few minutes. Next, we have the sensitivity, and there are four different sensitivity uh, levels, and custom is the one that you customize with the calibration, but each of these is a different level based on the amount of weight you expect to be on this. You also have a sensitivity slider if you wanna adjust that, I'm guessing within a certain range. I'm gonna leave it where it is. I'm gonna set it to a low weight object, less than one pound. And you can see that it's very sensitive. So I'm just barely pressing on it and it's triggering it. And anyway, I'm gonna leave it at low weight for now because I wanna sense any little bit of pressure on it. But you can adjust those sensitivities and figure them out however you want. There is one hidden configuration entity and it's firmware. It seems to be disabled, but I will enable it just to see what happens. I'm guessing maybe you can update firmware there, but then diagnostic, you can see the status, I guess, of your ESP32. But that's pretty much it, really, really basic, but I love it. I love how rugged this thing is, and I think there's some really cool automations we could do. So I wanna test out doing an automation where when I stand on this mat, it turns a light to come on. All right, so here I am at my workbench, and I'm gonna go ahead and step on this uh, mat, and we'll see what happens. Yep, light comes on, light goes off. Light comes on, light goes off. Anyway guys, so that's pretty much it for the Trample Tech Blue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's just a quick overview of how it works, but you can see, step off the switch and the light goes out, step on, it goes back on. Really cool little device. I can see using this in my garage over at my 3D printing bench, which I'm working on. And it'll be really nice to have a mat there that can sense that I'm standing there. I was also thinking that you could use this for things like, let's say I'm at a sit stand desk, that's smart. And I get off of my chair and stand on the floor, the desk could automatically come up. That would be a really cool uh, automation that you could use this with, but it's very rugged. So there's a lot of places you can use it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. So thanks for watching. See ya.